students uh, welcome back coming to the next topic in html5 was flex layout or flex box so this is one of the important uh, concept uh, and one of the graphic concept now let's see what is a flex layout or flex box a flex box is the css3 property cascading style sheet 3 property a flex box is a layout mode so means it is going to be arrange the terms whatever the items that are present in your uh, page that is a layout so which part will be appeared in left side right side center middle all like that okay so it's just it's a layout mode it helps in displaying the elements on the page so it's going to display the elements on the page per the as per the device size and the screen size and the available space so these points you have to be remember so whatever the elements that you want to be displayed on the page those elements will be appeared based on the uh, device size screen size and the available space okay just like a responsive web page so if you want to open any page on your uh, laptop so it will fit to your laptop if you want to paste this, uh, open the same page in your mobile phone, it fit to your mobile phone screen. So the layout will be appeared in a way that that will be fit to your screen size. So this flex box is arranging in a way that uh, all the elements that are present in your page will be appeared, displayed according to the device size, screen size and the available space. A flex container expands items to fill available free space or shrinks them to prevent overflow without using float or positioning. Okay, so you get a doubt. So, a responsive web page is there. So, instead of uh, the responsive web page is also uh, the same technique. Uh, it is providing, it is displaying the page which expands all items to fill the available free space in your screen or shrinks them to prevent overflow. So, but the thing is the flex blocks will not uh, use the float and positioning elements without using uh, those positioning elements. It will be appear the page according to your screen size. So, that's the use of the flex box. Let's see what are the browser supports. Uh, so, the Flexbox will support in Chrome 29.0, Internet Explorer, the version will be 11.0 version, Mozilla 22.0 version, Safari 10 and Opera 48 version. So, if your browser is having these versions above the, okay, uh, above this, this or above versions, then your Flexbox, uh, the Flexbox property will be work on your browsers. Now, let's see the Flexbox properties. So, here is a flex container, a page, let's assume this is a screen. So, the screen, this screen may be your laptop screen or your mobile phone screen or your tablet screen, whatever it may be. This is the flex container. So, the flex container, let's see these are the different item terms that we use in flex box. Flex container is complete page. So, this is the axis. The page is divided into two axes. One is the main axis and another is a cross axis. Main axis, cross axis. So, this is a horizontal line you call it as a main axis and the vertical line you call it as a cross axis. Okay. And you are having the main start and main end. So, the horizontal, the starting point you call it as main start. And the ending line, uh, ending was main end. So, from this horizontal, that is a main axis, this is a start and this is the end. In the same for cross axis also, you are having the cross start and cross end. So, the, this cross is vertical and main is horizontal. So, this is about the container. So, inside the container, you are having flex items means the items that are displayed on the page. Those are the flex items. So, the flex item also that item will be appeared according to the main size and the cross size. So, this is the main size, the horizontal and this is the cross size. So, with the help of main size and cross size, your flex item will be fixed. 
okay so the different terms that are uh, were discussed in the flex box is flex container main axis cross axis flex items main start uh, main end cross start and cross end okay now let's see the flex box properties so these are the different properties that we used in flex box to create the flex container so if you want to create any flex container you need to use these properties so based on your uh, page responsive page your the user requirements you are going to design the flex box so the different the flex box properties are divided into two one is a flex container and one is a flex items so the flex container so the complete container we are talking and the flex item so items that are uh, displaying only the single boxes so for this single boxes to be displayed what are the properties that you have to be followed and for this flex container to be displayed uh, what properties you have to follow so if you think uh, let's see the flex container the different properties of flex container are flex direction so in which direction it is going it's a main axis or the cross axis flex wrap flex flow justify content align items align contents and now let's see the flex items so if you talk about the flex item each flex item you are having some you need to write some properties so that your uh, pay item will be appeared uh, in a uh, beautiful or a, exactly whatever the format you want the flex items are order align self flex grow flex shrink flex basis and the flex now let's discuss each and every property with an example so let me explain the first one is the flex containers so let's see the properties of flex containers so to start using the flex box model you need to first define a flex container if you want to start the property means first you define the flex container okay so the flex container with let's take a flex container with three flex items so i want to display the items a b c in a flex container this is the container so for that you need to write division class div class div means it is going to be divided into blocks div class is equal to flex container so whenever you have written this a container will be appeared so this container is the size of your screen size of your screen whatever the size of your screen or either the mobile phone or the laptop or tablet whatever the screen you are having it will fit to that screen by using the div class is equal to flex container so div a b c and close the div so this code you have to write inside the body tag so a flex container becomes flexible so when this flex container becomes flexible by setting the display property to flex so how you are going to set the display property to the flex so that the flex container will be flexible okay if you want to uh, make this container will be a uh, grow and shrink according to your screen size you need to use the display property in your flex if you didn't use the display property in your flex your flex container will not be flexible okay so the items will be appeared zigzagly in uh, an ordered format according to the screen size so when will be appeared exactly whatever the uh, screen size you have taken whenever you use the property display property in your flex so this is a property dot flex container is it container so within the container you need to write display flex so whenever you're using the flex property flex box don't forget to write this the flex container should be flexible so whenever this flex container is flexible whenever you have written the display is flex okay so now let's see the properties one by one the first property is flex direction this property defines in which direction the container want to stack the flex item okay so uh, let's see all these uh, properties like the
the flex direction uh, flex container property and the flex item property in the next video so that you won't be confused so so uh, up to now what i have explained what exactly the flex box was okay so the flex box is going to create a container so in the container you are going to create a items so the items will be appeared on uh, on the web on the screen so with flexible settings so with the whatever the size you are having the screen size you are having it will be set according to that by using the flex container dis display flex so by using the display property to flex your container will be flexible in the on the screen thank you